In this video, I am going to explain anatomy of infrahyoid muscles. Infrahyoid muscles. Literally, these muscles are below hyoid bone. There are four muscles in infrahyoid muscles. I will put numbers. One, two, three, four. Number one is sternohyoid. Sternohyoid. Number two is sternothyroid. Sternothyroid. Number three is thyrohyoid. Thyrohyoid. Number four is omohyoid. Okay, these four muscles are infrahyoid muscles. I am going to explain their origin, insertion, function, and importance of these four muscles. Okay? Okay, first one is this one. This is sternohyoid. Sternohyoid. You can guess attachment. So, origin is sternum. Sternum. Plus... This joint, this is sternoclavicular joint. Sternum and sternoclavicular joint. If you want to be very specific, this muscle originates from posterior part. Posterior part of sternum and sternoclavicular joint. Okay. These are origin. Where is insertion? What is the name of this muscle? This is sternohyoid. So insertion is hyoid. Okay, that's simple, right? Sternohyoid. Origin. Sternum plus sternoclavicular joint. And insertion is hyoid. Oh, by the way, this muscle attaches on sternoclavicular joint. What happens when this muscle gets tight? That may inhibit movement of this joint. What happens then? Okay. Mobility of this joint is very important for shoulder movement. Because on the lateral part of clavicle, there is joint between scapula and clavicle. So you can say when this joint gets Restriction that can affect shoulder joint. You know, movement of clavicle is crucial for shoulder movement. So maybe when this muscle gets tight, that may inhibit this joint, that may inhibit movement of shoulder. See, this muscle is very important. Let's move on to next one. Next one is this one. This is sternothyroid. Sternothyroid. Where is origin? It's sternum. Okay. And posterior part of sternum. So is sternohyoid. Okay. Anyway, this is sternothyroid. Where is insertion? It's thyroid cartilage. thyroid cartilage. Important thing is this muscle does not attach on thyroid gland. Okay? That is different structure. This is thyroid cartilage. Okay? Again, it is not a thyroid gland. Okay? This is sternothyroid. That's it. So let's move on to the next one. Number three is this one. This muscle attaches on Thyroid cartilage and sternum. So, name of this muscle is thyrohyoid. Thyrohyoid. Where is origin? It's thyroid cartilage. Again, this muscle does not attach on thyroid gland. It's cartilage. Okay, insertion is hyoid, of course. Hyoid bone. So number three, 
thyrohyoid. Done. Number four is this one. This is omohyoid. The name is slightly different compared to other three muscles, right? Where is omo? You know what hyoid is, but where is omo? Where is that? This omo means scapula. So, its origin is scapula. I will show you a different picture later. Origin is scapula. Now, insertion is this part. This is hyoid. Hyoid one. Origin is from scapula. Then it attaches to hyoid bone. So let's change picture, then you can see more clear uh, placement of omohyoid. So this is superior view. This part is scapula. This is omohyoid. Imagine there's hyoid bone posterior to mandible. Origin is this part. This part is superior border of scapula. Superior border, omo hyoid, omo hyoid. Okay, now let me go back to first picture. I introduced four muscles. Number one, sternohyoid, sternohyoid. Number two, sternothyroid. Number three, thyrohyoid. Number four, omo hyoid. Once you memorize where these muscles are, you can name these muscles because name of these muscles are based on attachment. Easy, right? Now let me explain function of these muscles. Once you memorize these locations, you can guess their function. Where are their attachment? Hyoid, thyroid cartridge, mainly, right? So main function of these four muscles are lower down hyoid and lower down thyroid cartridge. Uh, let's say it's depression. Depression of thyroid cartridge and hyoid. Okay then. What is that about? Why is that so important? Thyroid cartilage and hyoid bone are very close to throat organs such as esophagus and trachea. So movement of these structures are related for swallowing and speech. Swallowing and speech. So when these four muscles get tight, that might affect swallowing and speech. That's very important, don't you think? Not many people focus on this area unless somebody is professional doctor for throat area. But, you know, swallowing, speech, they are freaking important. Plus, when anterior part of neck gets inhibition, Maybe that can affect movement of cervical spines because these structures are just in front of cervical spines. So that is why when anterior part gets tight, posterior part, which is cervical spine, can be affected. That is why I focus on infrahyoid muscles for neck restriction. Of course, I focus for a swallowing problem and speech problem. As well, I have to keep saying restriction of this area can affect neck movement. This is freaking important place. So if you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment and subscribe. See you next video.